So Ampere is here-ish. So Nvidia has taken the wraps off of their brand new GeForce RTX 30 series and come in with quite a few surprises. However, if you've been following us, some of them might not have been as big of a surprise as some would have hoped. But nonetheless, Nvidia has delivered an interesting lineup of cards for their second generation RTX family. Now we'll stick to the details here so we keep this one as short and to the point as possible. And if you want to dig deeper in these, definitely hit the links in the description for each card. So let's get to it. Now the new shader core on the Nvidia Ampere architecture is 2.7x faster, the new RT cores are 1.7x faster, while the new Tensor cores are up to 2.7x faster than the previous generation Turing GPUs. Now the second generation RT core delivered dedicated hardware ray tracing and ray tracing performance and features twice the rays per triangle intersection with concurrent RT graphics and compute operations. But let's kick things off with the graphics cards, will we? We're going to start off with the RTX 3070. And at the heart of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 card lies the GA104 GPU. Now the GA104 is one of the many Ampere GPUs that we will be getting in the gaming segment. The GA104 GPU is the second fastest Ampere chip in the stack. This GPU is based on Samsung's 8 nanometer process node. Now for the GeForce RTX 3070, Nvidia has enabled a total of 46 SM units on its flagship, which results in a total of 5,888 CUDA cores. In addition to the CUDA cores, Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3070 also comes packed with next generation RT cores, tensor cores, and brand new SMs for stream or their streaming multiprocessor unit rather. In terms of memory, the GeForce RTX 3070 features 8GB of GDDR6 memory and the 3070 comes with memory at a speed of 16 gigabits per second. Now that, along with a full uncut bus interface of 256 bits, will be able to deliver a bandwidth of 512 gigabits per second. The first wave of cards to hit the market would be the Reference Founders Edition variant which costs $499 US, however custom models will vary depending on their design and the extra horsepower that they have to offer. Moving on up the stack, we've got the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, which is apparently a force to be reckoned with. It is the ultimate gaming GPU that is surprisingly much faster than the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, which is its Turing-based predecessor. Also much cheaper at $699 US, the RTX 3080 carries more cores, more memory bandwidth, and higher performance efficiency, and also carries next generation RT cores, tensor cores, just like the 3070 did, making this a truly next generation graphics card. Now at the heart of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card lies the GA102 GPU. The GA102 is another one of the Ampere GPUs that we're going to be getting in their gaming segment. The GA102 is the fastest gaming GPU that Nvidia has produced. Now, the GPU based is based on 8 nanometer custom process node designed specifically for Nvidia, and it features a total of 28 billion transistors, and it measures in at 628 millimeters squared, which makes it the second biggest gaming GPU ever produced, right below the Turing TU102 GPU. Now for the RTX 3080, Nvidia has enabled a total of 68 SM units on its flagship which result in a total of 8,704 CUDA cores. In addition to the CUDA cores, Nvidia's GeForce RTX 3080 comes packed with the, those same next gen RT cores, tensor cores, and again the brand new SM or the streaming multiprocessor unit. Now in terms of memory, the GeForce RTX 3080 comes packed with 10 gigabytes of memory and that too is next generation with GDDR6X design. With Micron's latest and greatest graphics memory dies, the GeForce RTX 3080 can deliver GDDR6X memory speeds of 19 gigabits per second, almost said 16, but it's 19. And that along with the interface on a 320-bit bus will deliver a cumulative bandwidth of 760 gigabits per second. Now the first wave of cards hitting the market will be the Founders Edition variant, and that will cost $699 US. However, custom models will vary depending on their design and extra horsepower that they have to offer. And last but not least, NVIDIA designed the RTX 3090 not just for any gamer, but all gamers who want to have the best performance at hand and power next generation AAA gaming titles with superb visuals and fluidity. Now at the heart of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card lies the GA102 GPU, once again, but this time pretty much fully unleashed. For the GeForce RTX 3090, Nvidia has enabled a total of 82 SMs on its flagship, which result in a total of 10,496 CUDA cores. In addition to the CUDA cores, the GeForce RTX 3090 also comes packed with next generation RT cores, tensor cores, and that SM. 
Now in terms of memory, the GeForce RTX 3090 takes a huge step ahead, featuring more than twice the memory of the RTX 2080 Ti. The new flagship comes packed with 24 gigabytes of memory, and that too is the next generation GDDR6X memory. With Micron's latest and greatest graphics memory dies, the RTX 3090 can deliver a bandwidth that hits almost one terabyte per second. The GeForce RTX 3090 comes packed with 24 gigabytes of Micron's GDDR6X memory with speeds of 19.5 gigabits per second. That along with a full uncut interface of 384 bits will deliver a cumulative bandwidth of 936 gigabits per second. The first wave of graphics cards to hit the market will be the Reference Founders Edition, and that will cost $1,499 US. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 will feature that $1,499 MSRP, but there will be variants from custom AIB models, which could vary quite a bit, depending on how they design them and how much extra horsepower they have. Well, there you guys have it. That was the GeForce RTX 30 series. They're second generation RTX cards, at least on these three cards, 3070, 3080, 3090. Let me know down in the description if you're okay with the pricing, if you're okay with the proposed performance, and are you looking forward to these cards hitting the market? Love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. And until the next one, we'll catch you down there.